Hello and welcome my kinder teacher colleagues. We are the science team from the Riverside County Office of Education. We've put together a set of videos that describe each next generation science standards performance expectations, what we call our science standards, and what we feel are a simple and easy to understand manner. This video is an overview, a primer if you will, of the TK kindergarten performance expectations, as well as other aspects of the standards that you may find helpful and enlightening. First up are the performance expectations. Performance expectations are what we properly call our science standards. They are quite a bit different from our previous standards in that they build on each other through four distinct progressions as students matriculate from kindergarten through 12th grade. Also, there are different aspects built within each standard, what we refer to as the three dimensions of an NGSS performance expectation. In this video, we will offer an overview of the grade level performance expectations, a look at the three dimensions of the NGSS, as well as what are expected of students as they matriculate through each of the four different progressions of the Next Generation Science Standards. Let's start with how to read the title of a performance expectation, or PE. We will use K-PS21 as an example. The first character represents the grade level, in this case a K for kindergarten. First grade would be a 1, second grade a 2, and so on. Middle school is an MS and high school is an HS. It's worthy to know that there are not a respective set of standards for transitional kindergarten. So the K would represent kindergarten as well as transitional kindergarten in all performance expectations. The next set of characters represents the science discipline, in this case a PS for physical science. We also have an LS for life science, ESS for earth and space science, and ETS for engineering, technology, and the application of science. Next, from the framework comes the core ideas. In this case, a 2 which represents motion and stability. Finally, we have the sub-idea, in this case forces in motion. So, K-PS2-1 would read as Kindergarten, Physical Sciences, Motion and Stability, Forces in Motion. If you're just beginning with the NGSS performance expectations, don't worry. Naming is, is not critical at this point in your journey. We just wanted you to know how the standards are named as to give you a better frame of reference. Next, let's look at the PEs that kindergarten teachers are responsible for. If you take a look at the chart, you can see all of the PEs for your grade level. If you notice, the three PEs at the bottom are grade banded K through 2. These are the engineering PEs and are the same three engineering PEs that students will see in grades kindergarten through second grade. The next grade band, grades 3 through 5, will have another set of engineering standards, the same as middle school uh, MS and high school HS. Continuing on with kindergarten, there are four physical science PEs, one life science PE, and five earth and space science PEs as follows. K-PS2-1 and 2-2 both deal with different aspects of force and motion. K-PS3-1 and PS3-2 both deal with energy. KLS1-1 is all about plants and animals. KESS2-1 and 3-2 are about weather. KESS 3-1 and 2-2 are about plants and animals' environments and habitats. And finally, KESS 3-3 are about human impact on the environment. I know that was kind of fast, but don't worry. We've got you covered. We have made a separate video that covers each of the above performance expectations in detail for your continued use. The NGSS focuses on natural phenomena things in the natural world that make you stop and wonder. In kindergarten, some of the phenomena deals with what makes things move. What is a plant and animal? And what effect do they have on our environment? And what is weather? And things like that. Remember, phenomena do not necessarily have to be phenomenal, but act as something that makes students wonder and opens up their natural curiosity. As mentioned earlier, there are four distinct progressions as students matriculate from kindergarten to 12th grade. As you can see, the progressions are grade banded. In grades K through 2, as you might have guessed, we focus on foundational science. 
phenomena that students can relate to and most likely have experience with. This last point is important. We want phenomena to be local because local usually means that students have some sort of experience with it. From there, we can link new ideas to what they already have experience with. This can be a very powerful learning as both ideas then transform to higher learning levels. In grades three through five, we dip back in and we kick it up a notch by diving deeper and spending more time having students model the phenomena they're attempting to understand. Middle school moves to more abstract thinking and by high school, students are dealing with more and more abstract thinking at all scale levels. As you can see, this is one of the reasons that science education needs to start at the earliest grades. If NGSS science is not taught in elementary school of fidelity, students will miss out on half their NGSS science progressions, all of it, foundational. It would be sort of like building a pyramid with the pointy side down. By considering Table 1.3 from the California NGSS framework, you can see that kindergarten and TK starts a student's critical thinking of the world around us and becomes more sophisticated as they matriculate through each grade level on through the 12th grade. Let's now look at a description of what we call the three dimensions of an NGSS performance expectation, or PE. Namely, the Science and Engineering Practices, or SEPs, always in blue, the Disciplinary Core Ideas, or DCIs, always in orange, and the Cross-Cutting Concepts, always in green. We will start with the DCIs, again, always in orange. They describe the nuts and bolts science of the PE and describe the understanding of the science students should be able to demonstrate by the end of their grade level. There are eight science and engineering practices as shown on the screen. They are always in blue. Please remember, although the DCIs change in both ideas and complexity as students matriculate from K through 12th grades, the SEPs, or Science and Engineering Practices, are the same eight practices that students will see from the beginning to the end of their education. The SEPs describe how students should do science on their way towards understanding. Like the SEPs, the seven cross-cutting concepts are the same seven concepts that students will see from kindergarten through 12th grade. They're always in green. The concepts are a way for students to think about science a lens in perspective, if you will. With regards to this or any PE, a specific science and engineering practice and cross-cutting concept are emphasized within the performance expectation. But please realize that all eight SEPs and seven cross-cutting concepts are in play and can be utilized to help students with their understanding of the phenomenon at hand. We hope this video helps you to get a better understanding of the NGSS at your grade level. As mentioned, it is an overview of aspects of the TK and Kindergarten NGSS. Accompanying this video are separate videos for each of the respective Kindergarten PEs and go into depth on the goals of each PE. As always, if you have any questions about this video or other science related items, please contact one of our science team members for help. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel in order to better access this and other science education videos. Thank you.